Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode eight of my first playthrough of Core Keeper. Last time I went hunting after a boss, which led me way down here. Amaroth the Sea Titan. I think I've attempted it three times now and died. My uh, body is out there. So that's where all the stuff I had is at. But before I was able to do that, I had to go hunting through the grass area, finding another boss, Azios the Sky Titan, so that I could get access to this fisherman that's in this house. And I've got a waypoint up here. I haven't attempted this boss, but hopefully today I can take out both of them since I have easy access to this one and I've already started to figure out Amaroth but it's kind of expensive to attempt the boss. What I would like to do first is see if I can make this portal. I need a hundred iron bar. That's what I'm missing. I do not have enough. So I can get this making, but I need that iron bar. So hopefully I can make a portal out there to that boss in case I die again, instead of having to walk down there over and over and over. I'm up to 158 galaxite bar. I need 180 for a go-kart if I want to make that. I could also, where is it? There's some upgraded ocean thing. Distillery table. Yeah, I've got eight poison slime. I could make that. Let's see what's on that. Distillery table. Good. New talent point available in crafting. Oh, I got a bunch of talent points. Fishing level up. Chance for additional item at the alchemy table. Huge. More healing. Mining speed. Damage after running. And some melee damage. Or that's attack speed. All right, so I'm gonna, let's see, put this right here. What can we do here? Oh, I can turn the ground into slime. Make the greater healing potion. That takes poison slime. I can make the guardian's potion. Takes puff fungi and slippery slime. And poison aid potion. Removes any poison from the imbiber for one second. Okay, interesting. Uh, let me make some torches. Potentially that is what is causing slimes to spawn in my base. Maybe it's not lit up enough, but down here is definitely dark. Let's see, grab my pickaxe, make my hoe, the sledgehammer, shovel, my ocarina. Oh, I did leave torches, so I didn't lose all those. We'll put all these potions in here, slap this key chest down. I could break some more of this open. Get me a bunch of blocks to work with if I need them. Uh, I don't want that mushroom ground there. I'm gonna need to build a new house for the fisherman guy eventually. I do have 13 of these greater healing potions. Maybe I want to use those for the boss, but I want to grab one of these, one of the mechanical parts. Give myself a recall idol. Then where is there a bunch of stone that I have easy access to? Maybe right over here? Yeah, there's a lot of stone along there. Or I could work back down here. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go back down there. I've already been clearing this area out quite a bit. I'll just farm up the rest of the iron I need to make the portal. Pop up all this stuff. But here we go. There's one. Something shiny over here. Crystals. Gold. More gold. Absolutely tearing through these enemies. Love it. I see shiny there. That was an iron. Now I'll go bop him. Oh, I missed. And get that one. Wow, that hit. Can't tell me otherwise. I'll just keep bashing. Ooh, I double hit the enemies. You know what? Something that would probably be a really good idea to do is kind of round up a bunch of these cattle in a like location where I can keep them and farm the stuff off of them. I only have one more of the milk potion things. Oh, well, there's more explosives, but this is iron. There's more. Oh, oh, don't explode me. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Okay, sure. Oh. oh, come on. All right, we're just gonna do that. There we go. Then I can shoot him. Big guys, only taking two hits is amazing. Got 25. I don't think that's enough yet. Keep going for more. Did I bring the fishing pole? I did. Might as well hit more fish. If I farmed fish to get the dodge chance, like it'd take quite a while, but it might be really worth it. New item, crown squid. 
All hail the pale king of water. Okay. It takes like three or four times as long to get a bite. If not fishing in one of the little locations where it's showing you to fish. It could be something you grind out, but I don't feel strongly like I want to just go after it. I'll just keep finding them as I manage. I've got four of those crown squids now. Ooh, iron chest. There'll be some iron bar in that, pretty sure. I don't know if I have any more iron keys, though, so I'd have to spend iron bar to get iron bar out of that. Oh, here's a bodge. Let's go. Whoa, what is this? Is this a go-kart? Did I just find a go-kart track? Oh, whoa. Um. Oh, there's another one. Ah! <laughs> it's just here? Okay, there's several go-karts. Oh, this is wild. Another go-kart. Okay, so I can set up myself a bunch of cars now. Huh. Okay, I did a lap. Well, let's pick that up. Primitive go-kart. It's not one of the speedy ones that I've been trying to farm up for. So you can just stumble across that before you even have the opportunity to make one. Insane. Another chest. Right on. I tore up the inside of this dope go-kart track pretty nicely got all four of the go-karts i have 113 iron ore i think it might be okay for me to go back i picked up almost 1700 stone blocks and let's see what this new fish i got makes uh selling fish is a bit of these coins if i wanted to do that but half oh uh, half of it in here, half in there, plenty of iron on the way. And I do have two iron keys. Fantastic. Keep expanding the chests. The chests keep getting placed because of these keys. The locked chests I keep finding. Stone pants. 20% damage against bosses. Reduced damage taken from bosses. Armor max health. Nifty. And eight tin bar. Seven more tin bar and iron bow the go-karts are worth quite a bit of gold ancient coins i do have a bunch of tin though i could probably make a bunch of mining things go back down there and set up the iron mine what is this food knockback i don't know that that's great oh yeah here's a bunch of these slime things i can use that in here i can make these potions and how many does that put me i think i need 90 okay that is enough portal allows teleporting two waypoints and portals that have been placed out the portal takes 10 minutes to charge up before it can be used once it has been placed now hopefully once i'm done there i can break it and pick it up but i have made that so the very next thing i should do is go out there and at least get it placed pick up the stuff that i had out there i'm not ready to fight the boss again yet but it should be the last time i have to make this crazy long runway out there hey i got a pickaxe now so i can break open these rocks i don't know if there's any gonna be thing valuable in them but i got a shell of some kind an ammonite sure and i finally have made it so the portal I'll throw it down right here all right it's got to charge up that's fine and then i got an extra boat here so i can go out here and collect all my goods so i had a little bit of food on me not much else honestly that's fine stone skin potion all right and then i give that thing time to charge up warp back this thing yeah let's make a bunch of these well it's only seven i can make some of the better ones i need four more yeah i will end up with enough iron to get the rest of these i want to max out that iron production portal is not ready that's okay so i need to go down here boundary ring 20 magic barrier that's new cool i've got a really nice clear path down here oh i didn't bring the the wiring for it okay there's 30 more make three more of these get myself a generator and take all the wires go back out there so i can warp to this waypoint and go straight down oh there was actually an enemy can't go any further down then go left all right get the generator set up and provide the power there we go iron is producing now 
from here. All right, it's quite a trip down to the Galax site. This is my Scarletite, and then the other one's over there. I think I'm gonna go grab those. Hmm, let's actually make a path. I'm probably gonna wind up doing this quite a bit. I'm gonna go straight down, yeah, and then I need to push this straight to the right. And that would take me straight to this gold, where I to set that up. Probably something I'm going to want to do. And since I'm gonna have iron production, it won't be terrible to do. And then I already know this other path down to the Scarlet. That was 189 Scarlet. Oh wow, there's a lot here too. Yeah, I could I could make this even bigger. Oh look at this. Oh, that's so much. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't have all this going either. 476 Galaxite, 334 Octarine. Dang. And then warp back again. Get all this stuff cooking. I might get a couple more of these big fury forges you know let's make two no, let's make seven pick this up I got eight of them now got a big space down here uh i don't want to fully block it in how do, how would i want to do this just make two rows of them maybe there we go and then i can shift right click that do it on these and then i can do it again in and there i can make all these real quick there we go now we'll split the octary in half half of it here scarlet i'm not gonna make a whole farm of those and i don't want to put these stone blocks in my stash so i've been picking them up and then clicking the quick stack and i can put them back it'll keep them in my inventory oh well i can buy iron ore here only 10 of it though so what does it cost to make this thing a bunch of bait Octarine, Ancient Gemstones. I have all that, but I can only purchase so many of the purple baits. So I have to actually figure it out. This just takes bar. That one I could try infinitely unless I could figure out how to make more of those purple lures. I, I don't know how I would get to attempt the Kraken thing down here. Can I warp out there yet? Yes. Perfect. And then I can go back to this and then back to my base. Yes. Beautiful. Need some more of this space up here. Now, there is some kind of meadow out here. Yep, that's where I need to go next, which is across all the slime. Got a shroom figurine. I could break all this up. I do like having the easy slime farm right by my base, though. Oh, uh, yeah, there's two milks right here. Let's see, that's what I'm looking for is this stuff. I want to get them set up over here. I one shot the stone mushroom. Okay, this is kind of inhabited by slime. There's not as much stuff over here as there was. I don't know where they wandered off to, but this is going to be my farm for the animals. Oh, nice. This is all water on the edge. Beautiful. I can go big time fishing out here if I wanted. Oh, this is like a whole little pier thing. Okay. All right. Seems fine. There's only one animal in here. I might have made this a little bit too big, but oh well. I can fill in some of these. Might as well fish while I'm here. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. You can go out there. Animal is hungry for crops. Right. I'm going to need crops for them. That's fine. I can do that. Talent point available in fishing. I should just get in my boat and go out here. 25. That's a third of the way there. Up here, that's another meadow area. So many fishing spots out here. It's going to get me some levels. Another talent point available in fishing. Chance to get a fish on the hook. There's still more water out here. Yep. New talent point available in fishing. Up to 35. I'm still in the same little lake. It is a lot of water. And I can actually boat through every bit of this to the right of this waypoint it's taken so long i bet if i go back to the other part there might actually be new spaces for me to put the stuff in there is still just a slime in here i, I guess i really should just like wall this could be from that and i could get that livestock workbench so early on i want a stone door oh no 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 no, no. don't do that yet um there was these rings put those on so that's what 45 percent larger harvests hopefully that means more seeds i should put this on equipment too i can swap to that for farming first time i planted crops in a while and i'm going to plant the bomb peppers over there because i am not finding much use for those and i have tons of this stuff 
Then what about this? Tin and iron bar capture a cattle can only be used once. Well, I'm sure short on tin and iron. So we're not doing that right now. I have a couple of the milks. Oh, I found more. Nice. Then I break Oh, that was two walls. What the door is for. I got that planted so the cattle will eat and produce more of the milk. And while I'm out here, I should check the water again. Yep, there's fishing spots. New talent point available in fishing. Amazing. That's a 40. It's getting closer. I've farmed so many fish. I'm starting to get more tempted to go for it. Because... 10% dodge chance is like a very large amount of damage negation, especially with so many of those tornado things going around. All right. Yep. Some of these have been eaten already. All right. I can just warp out there. Let's, I think I'm going to warp out there and just go out in the water and fish out here in the beach area. Okay. I got to be ready to destroy these tentacle things. There's plenty of fishing spots out here too. It kind of sucks, but I think it will prove very worth. I think there was a fish dish that I created last time as well that gave me dodge chance. I found another metropolis thing. What is this area? That's different looking. Huh. Mining damage is too low to break in that. Oh, maybe if, if I was using the pickaxe. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's got me walled out of there. Hmm. Slows movement speed. Increasingly slows from mold infection. I got a puff fungi seed. Bone. Okay, one, two hits. Ow, 312 damage from the hit. And a poison. Potted mold pom pom. So I think it might max out at 10. Seed that only grows in mold. A fungi that was needed for something. There is a ton of these enemies, too. Maybe it's time to charge up. And launch yeah <laughs> out of mana vicious ring minion damage Mold Web Helm. Melee attack speed, set of three, immune to mold infection. That's good. Only level 10, so this isn't quite as advanced as some of the other stuff I've done. Ooh, there was a ring. Yep, the mold ring. I got stunned when I get hit by the rock. I don't know how far I go into this, but it's interesting. There gotta be some kind of boss thing in here, probably. Back to my initial goal here. Run around and fish. It's a little bit bigger water area than the other thing. Oh, mold ring gives 10% crit chance. Oh, I got an armor and a crit chance thorns. See, I don't need crit chance thorns. I'd rather just have the crit chance because crit chance gives me mana recovery. And that's one of the roughest things to deal with. Running out of mana. Talent point available in fishing. I ain't tempted to go in there for another one of those rings. If I can just max crit chance and go full glass cannon, like I can delete that boss. And then the dodge won't be as 
necessary. That's a lot of water. Like it's still visible out here how much water there is here. And that's like just what's down here. Like there's up above. Talent point available in magic. That's also good. Yeah, I'm going back in here. There's a lot of these enemies, so. Oh, I got a ring. I don't know. It's, I think it's the minion one. Wow. So many. I'm already seeing the, like more crits. Well, there's nowhere else for me to go in here. I can't do anything with the walls. I guess it's wait for more to spawn. Oh, here's the spot. All right. There is still more. Talent point and vitality. There's the ring. Got it. Is that a mold chest? I think it is. It's a fuzzy egg. And I can take down mold pillars. There's just like an outer layer of protection here. No, I hit with the rock. That's bad. Oh, I lost the damage boost on my wand too. Um, oh, I got two of these rings. There's a necklace I haven't gotten. I got the helm. I think that's it. I put on another 10 crit chance. What's my crit chance at 37% without any food up? Oh, my armor's going down too. So with the 13 crit food, it's a... Like, every other attack is going to refill 10% of my mana, I think. Tome of the Dead. Summons melee skeleton minion. That's new. I got a balloon spore. A valuable. Charge and blast. Alright. Just two. Oh. If they're going to line up, I can't really do anything. Oh, there's still more. So many. I got a blowpipe. Okay. I think I might have made it all the way through this area. There's no boss in here, but this was cool. Luckily, I'm strong, and now I get more crit chance. <laughs> like, they're so densely packed that they're spawning quite a few of them before I can get back out of here, even. I got a plague mask. Level 12. Chance to restore... A bit of health instead of dying when taking lethal damage. Health and armor. Ooh, potential fish in here. Rot fish. Mold shark. Black steel urchin. All right, I found a really cool thing. I gotta get out of here though. I can use my fancy portal. All right, so let's start with the black steel urchin. There's a, a cookbook, but I don't know that I'm gonna have this in there. Armor, thorns damage, mana regen. So this is a 22 armor. Then the rot fish. Is there another one? Yeah, mold shark. This one's got immune to mold infection for 10 minutes on the rot fish. Fair. Max health, physical, melee damage. So mold shark is melee damage. Oh, I can just tab over these. Oh. Oh. I thought it was... Oh, maybe I only know that one for that fish. So now I'm curious, what if I mixed a black steel urchin with a Karak? Would it give me a super armor for 10 minutes? It is the blue cave guppy that has magic barrier on it. Okay, so I could really plan the food out then. Craft up my gear. Vicious ring. What does it break down into? Caveling skull for scarlet bar. All right, then. What does it sell for? 116, 10 for the skull. Okay, we sell all those. Yeah, I think the mold helmets can go to. Maybe keep one. Mold web breastplate has damage against bosses. Reduction. Huff fungi can be cooked. Throw that in with a Karak and see. I actually have a ton of some of these fish. Incubate the fuzzy egg. Actually, take all of the fish. We're gonna make a big fish chest. There we go. So I got space to store all the fish in one spot. Fish gave me crunchy mold cheese. Armor, reduced damage taken from bosses. That's really good. So, puff fungi is reduced damage taken from bosses. Huh. Bottom Tracer plus Heartberry gave the 2.8 mana recovery. So what about a Bottom Tracer plus the glow thing? Bottom Tracer, one of those, one glow tulip. Silver Dart is crit damage. 
Gold Dart is Dodge Chance. This is 2.8 mana recovery. Yeah. So that might just be with the bottom tracer. So what if I made that with a bomb pepper? 2.8 mana. Bottom tracer glow tulip might be my go-to food then. But I might not need it because I hit crit stuff. Marbled meat. Larva meat. Larva meat is the crit chance. Golden larva meat is 13% crit chance. Okay. This guy. Yep. You've got two shiny larva meat. I want those. Then silver darts. Those go together to make crit chance crit damage. Then the marbled meat will give generic damage. And I need to mix that with the fish that was giving me magic barrier. The blue cave guppy. Yeah. Damage, magic barrier. And the golden dart gives me dodge chance. So I mix dodge with what am I missing? I have a big mana recovery. Armor reduced damage. Crit chance, crit damage, damage, magic barrier. I don't have a max HP. And I want the dodge, so we'll mix heart berries plus golden dart. One puff fungi. Karak. Talent point available in cooking as well. Should look at that. I haven't done the magic one either. So there's a uh, well fed buffs stronger. Yeah, I'm going for this damage, like generic damage, just based on doing lots of cooking. Health regen. Magic barriers added as magic damage. What was this? This was a glow bottom tracer. Nope, that was not it. It was a bomb pepper. Oh yes, yeah, it could have. It you know, no no no. It should be. It should be this, not that one. Glowing barbell fillet. The blue glow. I've got two rounds of all that food. I think that looks good. And then my like pupaya. It's fizz range damage. Pine grapple. Fizz melee damage. Mushroom is a nothing. And there's the big food from the bloat oats, which I'll probably keep making as I have been, as those are the foods I eat every time I need food. Count point in running. Damage after consistently running. Plus 6% armor of current movement speed increase. That's good. Being well fed is 7% damage and max health. And all these potions are one minute potions. I've got a percent armor, flat armor, magic damage reduced from bosses. Don't know that I can really do better than that. There's the new potions from here. And there's really just the greater healing potion. Scarlet crossbows, one attack per second. I should get my old wand. Where's my old wand? I'd probably use the old wand if I need something to like get crits to refill the mana. So charge that up. 3.3 attacks per second. So I could just swap to that and launch that a bunch i would think against a tough enemy like i'm going to be able to sustain mana actually as i'm firing this into it i wouldn't miss ever i don't see any more of these have been eaten oh and this is the wool guy this is not the milk yeah, I think that is actually a different animal. Okay, I think I might finish that project up next time, assuming I can sustain on the meadow milk. But I actually think there's a couple more up here. I saw it when I was running around on my boat, which it might be worth to go do again. Yeah, there's... Oh, there's the guy! Um, alright, you. Okay, you're not my moo. Not the one I started with. I need to get this guy in there. Two tin, three iron, six plank. Two tin, three iron, six plank. Wait a minute. There's a feeding tray and there's a leash. A leash might be better here, which is eight fiber. It's definitely not far. Come on, buddy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you only go so far and you get like pulled back to it. Cool. I have a metal milk producer now. All right, I need to remove this tree. I can see behind it. Talent point available in fishing. I think that's 50. Yeah. So the next one, I can start getting two dodge chance per five levels. I am actually curious as well. What, what does it take to level this old one up? Scarlet bar, ancient coins. It gains a mana cost. I don't think so. I, I really like the big wand I have, which upgrade again needs solarite. All right, I think it's time. Bait workbench. I need 30. I'm making enough sets for two. And then I need octarine bar, gemstones, and the purple bait. 20 of these, 60 octarine bar, and two purple bait. Expert lure times two. Another thing that I could do, take 
half my stack of bomb peppers, half my stack of glow tulips. Smash them in here and let that thing cook. If I fail the first time, I fish for the dodge and then beat it the second time. 65 of these. Did I get a new talent point cooking? No, not quite. That's the idea though. Just get something cooking so that I can level this up. Chance for additional food gained from cooking to be rare. I take all that food and sell it. 871 ancient coins. Oh, he has two more of these. Oh, so maybe there'll be a resupply over time of things. So maybe I wouldn't run out of the purple lures. Buy more healing potions. Warp out here in the boat. Make sure there's no rock throwers around. Ah, there's one. All right, slap that on there. Eat all my food. Swap to the potions. Potion, 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 potion. Fish in the thing. Okay, and then charge. Blast. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 this here. All right. Fire. Get him. Get him. Oh. Oh, I dodged. Okay, and then... Whoa, 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 whoa. Aiming down. Yeah, giving it that mana back. No, there's rock guys on this side. No, 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 no. Get me out of there. Alright, the potions. Again. Need to destroy those. It's hard to, like show it here but like i'm getting pulled around by stuff like there, there's something that like sucks you around in here yeah i'm getting sucked up there um no i got hit again ah man this this come on Moved again. Keep shooting down. Halfway. Yeah, he gets angry. Yeah, oh god. Hmm. Okay. Out of mana. Oh. I think I have lost the potions again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Man is almost back. Oh. No, 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 no. Okay. Ah, uh, nope, 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 and up. Mm. Go, uh, yes. Still up there. Um. Uh. Gimme, yep. Good, 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 good. Dodges. I mean, if I manually can dodge all this junk, then I don't got to worry too much. Okay. One more round. Got it. Woo! Crushed that. And I suck up this thing. I gain Soul of Amarath. There's no ground to step on. Okay. I don't have any ground on me either. Um, I don't have a... All right, I'll just come back. I need some stone blocks. Give me my pickaxe. I took very few hits in that too. 
That was very good. Back of my boat. Can I just pickaxe it? There we go. Floating Titan's chest. We got Amaroth's helm. Melee and range attack speed. The set gets armor while adjacent to water. We got a figurine, octarine and gold ore. So it was really just the helmet that I got. That's the big thing. Max health armor damage. Okay. The soul thing. Chance on range hit to spawn a tornado. I guess you can select different ones. Well, let's go get Azios while I still got these going. Uh, get out of there. Give me the boat. Then maybe I can save my food. Back to the base. I need to find the egg. There's my egg. Uh, I don't think I need anything else. I can top off my thing and warp up here. And in we go. Big bird. Put egg down. Okay. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. You are not near as tanky, my dude. Stuff is much easier to dodge as well. Okay. Nah. I haven't even used the potions. Oh, do I have to destroy that? Out of mana. I'm going to use the potions. Okay. Yeah, I think it was healing from that. Oh, how did I not take... Oh, only 91. It didn't even get through my shield. Okay, glad I brought the pickaxe. In here. And in there. Good. A lot of these feathers are dropping too. Ow. Sure. Ow. Ow. Okay. Almost dead. Haha. -ha. Nope. Oh, he did find one. Finish it. Oh, come on. Got him. All right, that wasn't hard. But I definitely have geared myself for that. Soul of Azios. Chance to spawn a thunder beam on melee critical hits. Okay, so the other one might be for magic. Soul of Ra Akar. That's going to be its own journey. We've got a pile of chum. Okay, this will let me move the guy. Azios dash feather offhand. Movement speed. Offhand use. Dash forward at 260% movement speed. We've got a few of those. Ancient pickaxe, not better than what I got. Broken handle, that's something I need. Figurine, corrupt warden tunic and shorts. Okay, and yeah, these are breakable. Nifty. And here's a cattle. Uh, I can't do anything with that. All right, so I've got my set of food as well. And then go back out to the left. So I'm going to need to go like prowling through deserts to find the other things that I need. Right, and I need another room now. And no, I broke it. There we go. I got all this bossing stuff stored there. Loading Titan's chest. Ha, huh. I can actually put it in the ground. All right, here's a room. I need a bed. We good? Yup, he's here. Yeah, and there's 30 baits. And there's like... Fishing gear I could use to further improve fishing. This egg is done. Cracked fuzzy egg. Pheromoth. Physical range damage and dodge chance. Mine gives me crit chance. Got 38 crit damage chance without any buffs. I don't think I can change that. Now broken handle. That was a piece or one of these. Broken handle, chip blade, clear gemstone. And then the shutdown protocol anomaly report. Overwrite transcript. I can purchase both of these and i need the broken handle for that and that goes in here empty crystal the rune parchment wait a second can i take and like upgrade my gear yeah it takes galaxite bar i would really like the sorcerer pants maybe the cloak is giving me crit chance as well 
Set of two gives damage against bosses. Hmm. I do have a ton of Galaxite. I could do it. Magic damage barrier. It's giving me bonus crit chance. It does. 25 Galaxite bar. Sure. You know what? Do it. Do it on all. I'm running out of coins though. It's okay. I have yeah, more right there. And does that get me cooking? Yes. Almost got me another one. Sell all of this. Yup. Buy these. Buy more tin. You just refresh. I don't know how long it takes them to refresh that, but I had just purchased tin to throw in here. And these shiny larva meat is what gets me the 13 crit chance in the food. What do I need for this thumper? Mechanical parts, ancient gemstones, fiber plank, scarlet bar, galaxite. All right. But I can't find that boss until I can get 40 scarab wing covers. Yes, uh... Next thing I should do, pop out here, go collect all my iron. That is a lot of iron. It's working. 523. Stack of 160. It's nice how they combine themselves sometimes. And more galaxite. Stack of 105. Got me 557 of those. I can break this. Still think that's only decoration. If I break these things, there's gotta be some way to actually target these things. Oh, 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 ow. There's three, three of them. <laughs> All right, there's a bunch of these guys. What about that thing? Could that have one in it? I had three skulls. Oof. They're, they move really quickly, too. Actually, oh, I can only take two of those hits. No, oh, I can't take two. If I take two, I'm dead. And if they're stacking up on top of each other now, that's a bit of an issue. Oh, I lost a drill. That's not good. It's possible they spawn more frequently now, because I took down two of the titans. All right, got all my stuff, and all three of those guys are gone. Only takes two hits if one's a crit. Oh, if they're chasing me, it's really not as bad. Okay, where'd you go? Um, I must have hit him. Mm. But I can pry all this stuff up. But what good does that do me? It does take three hits if I don't get the crit off. What is that? Concealed blade, offhand, nine crit chance. Yeah. Yep, that goes on. I lose a tiny bit of magic damage, but more crits. <laughs> okay. What is that? Large quarry timber. I got a grim hood. I got a cabling assassin figurine. Break that up. Old smithing bellow. The grim hood gives magic barrier two max minion count. Item level 16. Okay, so this wasn't a chest. This was a decorative. Okay, put that back. Put this back. Okay, that, that was there. Huh. Not seeing any of the scarab things, though. That is the only purpose in being out here. Hmm. I see a tornado. Maybe I actually got that chance. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't believe I crit him and it still took a few. Another one. Ooh, I... No! Come on! One attack. He kills me. All right, I... Do you have the Galaxite with me? So, split, 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 and split. 72 each. There was 60 from the last time. Re-enchant my wand. Oh, yeah, the gear needs it. Got my stuff back again. Yeah, all these desert shrubs, the valley moss. What is breaking up this stuff actually gonna do for me? Is it, I can get desert shrubs. It's not dropping anything else. Oh, 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 there he is. And if the enemies aren't going to drop them, like, I should clean this up so they don't spawn. But I don't think that ground has any effect on the flying things spawning. So I still think there's something I have to do with the flying things. Oh, I found one. Three of 40. Here's more of these things. I think I got, you know, scrap parts. <laughs> The triple attack is so ridiculous to just dodge. Oh, hello. Ow! Okay, another concealed blade. I've been through all this desert before. But yeah, this thing, it's a skull of one of these. Is what I need. 
Just running around it doesn't really do anything. I can dodge its attacks when it lunges. But I hit it once, it blows up. I should try and not use magic to kill one of those. Another hidden blade. Is that blowed out seeds? Yeah, I'm getting some of those, which is cool. There's a guy up here, yep. Oh, another one. Oh, the tornado popped out and finished that guy. Oh, there's more. I don't see any ground up there, though. Oh, a tornado took, like, it gets stuck in the tornado and dies. Hmm. Ooh, this is new. New area. Hmm. I don't have a ranged attack thing on me, I don't think. Let me try the old... No, I, I definitely fought him with the old staff. All right, I guess I'm going to try and pickaxe the thing. Dodge its thing. Oh, it hit me. It healed. Nope, it still exploded. And I launched that thing. Okay, so after a certain amount of damage, then it explodes. Just how they work. I found another one. Sure. A blue jelly down here. Marbled meat. Guess I start ditching some of this garbage. More blue slimes over there. And then the desert ninjas. <laughs> Man. Come on. Okay. There's one on the ground. That makes five. Oh, he dropped a sword. A zealot scimitar. Level 14, mana cost 18. A brilliant sword that channels mana into the blade to increase its power. Okay, it doesn't have a charge, it's just a swipe. Here's another one. I'm finding them. I don't think there's any way I get to melee range on these guys, though. Like, I have to take them out from range. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I might have found the... I might have found the boss. Well, if I found the boss, I don't need them then, do I? Um... I just need to make the thing. Where am I at? What thing here? All right, in the ground here is crystal spearheads. Ooh, that looks like a wand. Prehistoric crystal spear. It's a melee weapon with a charged thrust. Hmm. Right to the left, I'm not seeing a waypoint. Yeah, I don't know if there's going to be a waypoint here. I don't know if this is actually the boss either. It really feels like it, though. I will take that, and then I warp out of here. I want to go get my portal and bring it back out here with me. The thumper. Yeah, I can make that. Viable spearheads. Don't need the concealed blades. I do not need the boat. I could need the go-kart, honestly. Let's see. It was Galaxite. Octarine, I think. I know I need crystals, mechanical parts, plank, fiber. It was scarlet, not octarine. That's okay. Using at the right spot may awaken something from its slumber is consumed on successful use. I only have nine mechanical parts left. Well, I have food. Leave the shovel, the hoe, coins, hammer. Take all of these potions with me. I'm assuming this is going to work. I mean, it... It kind of makes sense. There's a boss up here, boss here, boss here. All about equal distant from my center point. I didn't go get my portal. Putting it down. It's not popping anything out of here. Okay. Can't destroy the... Oh. This object is indestructible. Well, all right then. I guess the hunt continues. I have six of those. I am four slippery slimes away from making whatever that one is. Ooh, 287 ground slime? Yeah. 34 more slimes. Needed to make potions. I need more of these bloat seeds. Give me these. No, 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 no. Ah, just swap to that. Yeah, cool. Then back to one. So 216 of those, 26 bonus. But I want bloat oats plus glow tulips. Hooking up to 52. 3,000 for the spicy tulip salads. And the tin refreshed, the larva meat refreshed. I now need to know as well. Yep, that can come up and go elsewhere. Well, that's awesome. And this doesn't go there anymore. There's a giant question mark there. But that is a massive area of desert. That portal is going right here. Easy access to my other mining stuff. Oh, and I can't use it yet. Okay, 
Use one of these to warp out of here. I haven't cooked anything with the dodo egg, I don't think. Hold up. More healing from health over time regeneration for 10 minutes. Not bad. I think that probably is a decent stopping point for today. I found this poison area or whatever that was. Like I could get in my boat and go keep exploring around there. Knowing that there's a boss here. Like, I need to just go prowling around for more desert, I guess, maybe. And what does it take to make this go-kart? Do I want a renegade or do I want a speeder? Lower top speed. Takes curves in a more stable manner. This one drifts when driving too fast. I think I go renegade. That needs 90 iron, 90 copper. I don't have the mechanical parts. Okay, so I'll be on the lookout for those when I'm just exploring next time. Actually, wait, wait, wait. I can take some of these coins. I think somebody sells those. Is it you? Yeah, you got five for the time being. So however long it takes for them to refresh their inventory, I can get those and maybe having a go-kart will be nice for cruising around deserts. Maybe. I don't know. But two of the boss souls acquired. Ra Akar. I still have not found any radiation crystals, which are needed to locate the smaller ones in there. There's an Ice Titan, Fire Titan, and Wild Titan. Igneous, the Molten Mass. Atlantean Worm. Ivy, the Poisonous Mass. And Morpha, the Aquatic Mass. I think these are just going to be additional, like, slime bosses. But I might be able to take one of those out next time too. I don't know. There's there's lots of ways you can go in this game. Maybe I could just like spend another four hours fishing or get my dodge. But we'll pick this up next Tuesday. And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss more videos from me. If you'd like to help support my channel, please consider using the super thanks, the heart icon just below the video or by joining to become a member. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.